Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. Today's question comes from Ron Backley, and he is WD4GWK. He has an interesting question here. He has a flagpole, okay, that he's going to raise this up on. He wants to build a 20 meter delta loop. A delta loop looks like this. Here's your flagpole, okay. Now, you need a a point at the top to come down like this and you want to make this equilateral if you can. If you feed it in one of the corners you can get vertical polarization or if you feed it here or here you can get horizontal polarization. And this is a loop. Now for 20 meters according to the W5SCD.net website the distance all the way around is 70.5 feet. So you can divide that by three to get the, the sides here. You'll attach this at the top. This will need some sort of a, a wire to hold it out here, a rope or something like that. You want to be careful how high these are. This length right here needs to be at least seven or maybe eight or maybe ten feet above the ground. And you can fiddle a little bit with the length of the sides to kind of get that way where this one is longer, these are shorter to move the thing up, okay? An antenna like this at whatever your feed point is has about a no, 90 to 120 ohm characteristic impedance. Let's just say we're feeding it at the corner. To get this down to match with your transmission line, you can put in a 25 foot piece of RG6, just television cable, and then connect here. This will be RG8X down here at your normal 50 ohm. That's 50 ohm cable as opposed to the 75 ohm. Okay, now where do you get 25 feet of RG6? The answer is you get it at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. This is the kind of cable that is used in like satellite systems and so on. And the nice thing about it is that it is dirt cheap. Much less expensive than the fancy stuff we use. Now, you can get any type of adapter that you want. Okay, this is a type F, and it's male, okay? And all this stuff that you'll see for your satellite receiver and television and so on are type F. This is an adapter I got off of Amazon for the type F to the usual PL259 type thing. Then what you're going to do, and I know this suffers from a bit of adapteritis, there is a barrel connector. So this goes into the 75 ohm. This connects to a barrel connector. And then this goes into here. And okay, now you have taken your 25 ohm, which is standard length of RG6 cable, and connected it and now this is the 75 ohm matching stub and you should be pretty close to a good 50 ohm match. If not, you can just tweak it up with your antenna analyzer. So again, I point out the idea of the w5scd.net website, which has all kinds of information on it and from which I took the dimensions for this. So that should give you a good idea of how to make a delta. Now note it's pretty much a single band antenna. If you have a very wide range antenna tuner you might do something with it but I'm not going to say that it will work well. So there you go. Now you can make it a little long so that you can you know pull the ends back and that sort of thing to make it shorter around or longer around. Will the aluminum flagpole affect the antenna. Yes, it will. It will affect the tuning. It'd be nice to get it about three feet away from the flagpole, but I think that would be nigh unto impossible to do. So let's not worry about it. Put it up. It should work for you. So Ron, good luck on your project. And until we next meet, 
73.